This is a guide to completing all the challenges in the Death Factory mission. For the Chameleon challenge, you are required to find and pick up the scientist, factory guard and researcher outfit. Load into the test facility on a normal difficulty. Get the keycard and go into the interrogation room. Shoot everyone inside and pick up the scientist and factory guard outfit. Then load into R&D on the normal difficulty and go into the conference room. Take out one of the researchers and take his outfit. For the suit only challenge you are required to complete Death Factory without using disguises. Load into the test facility on the normal difficulty. Get the keycard to go into the locked area and activate the alarm. Once the guard has come out of the interrogation room, go inside it and retrieve the stolen file. Go back out of the room and get out of the locked area when the guard fixing the alarm has gone again. Open the door and go to the lower level. Once the elevator has stopped, reload from checkpoint and shoot out a glass beneath Dr. Green to eliminate him. Use the ladder nearby to go to the upper area and get to the other side, waiting for the guards to go past as required. Then wait for the scientist to stop talking on the phone and the guard to be looking out into the room. Sneak past the guard and down the stairs. Go into the security room and sabotage the fuse box. Climb through the window to the right and go to the computer to disable the security. Make your way back to the elevator the same way you got to the security room and then out of the test facility. In decontamination, follow the two researchers into the locker room. Go to the right side of the locker room and then go through the window into the security room ahead, ignoring the guard that tries to arrest you. Disable the security and go through the air ventilation shaft in the bathroom. On the other side, turn right and go through the door ahead. In the silo, shoot Dr. Valentin straight away. Then go into the conference room and through the door on the wall ahead. Fold the stairs down and take out the guard at the bottom of the stairs with the fiber wire, but leave the body on the ground. Sneak through the room and down some stairs to the left and go out onto the catwalk through the door in that room. Keep following the catwalk all the way down to the lowest floor and shoot Dr. Ashford as soon as possible. Make your way to the bridge and activate it. Then take cover on the console nearby and enter point shoot mode to take out any guards that come close to you. When the bridge has arrived, enter point shoot mode once more, eliminating any guards that are in sight. Then run across the bridge. Do what you have to in the room and leave the area. For the Abyss Gazer's back challenge, you are required to kill Dr. Green by shooting the glass beneath his feet. Load into the test facility and get the keycard. Activate the alarm and garret the guard that comes out of the room. Go into the room and garret that guard too. Take the Solent file and open the door. Take the elevator down. Once you are at the bottom, reload from checkpoint. Then go into the left back corner of the test facility and shoot the glass beneath Dr. Green's feet. After you have done so three times, it will give away. For the good test results challenge, you are required to kill Dr. Green by activating the mines when he is in the fields. Continue on from Abyss Gaze's back by reloading from checkpoint after you have killed Dr. Green. Alternatively, follow the guide for that challenge until after reloading from checkpoint. Climb up the ladder to the left of the elevator and go out to the other side of the catwalk, avoiding guards as required. Go into the room that overlooks the test facility and stand in front of the button. Use instinct should you start to get spotted. If you're out of instinct when you're spotted, walk away out of the room to the left and take out the guard there. When Dr. Green is in the minefield, activate the button. For the common ground challenge, you're required to kill Dr. Green by activating the open mine. Continue on from good test results by reloading from checkpoint after you've killed Dr. Green. Alternatively, follow the guide for the Abyss Gaze's back challenge until after reloading from checkpoint. Climb the ladder and go to the other side of the catwalk, avoiding guards as required. Make your way to the low area and into the security room. Sabotage the fuse box and climb through the window. Whilst the guards are leaving the area, pick up the proximity detector and insert it into the open mine in the room. Shortly after, Dr. Green walks past and returns eventually going close to the mine, which activates the mine. For the scientific thoroughness, you are required to complete the Abyss Gazes back, good test results and common ground challenges. Complete the challenges following the guides as required earlier. For the happy birthday challenge, you are required to shoot the guards that come to the researcher's party by entering point shoot mode from inside the cake. Load into decontamination on the normal difficulty and go into the canteen. After you have gone through the door, take cover on the close side of the counter and go all the way to the right of the counter. Sneak up on the girl and garret her. Hide her in the clothing basket nearby. Enter the cake and wait for the party members to show up. Once they are there, enter point shoot mode and mark the guards as targets, but not the researcher. For the in the right space challenge, you are required to kill Dr. Valentin using the bomb test unit. Get the factory guard outfit and load into RD. 
followed the walkway down to the test chamber room using instinct. Inside, go to the opposite side of the room and activate the robot arm to distract the scientist at the console. Go to the console and wait for Dr. Valentin to get into the test chamber if he isn't already. Then activate the test chamber. For the shock doctrine challenge, you're required to kill Dr. Valentin using the electric gun. Get the factory guard outfit and load into R&D onto normal difficulty. Go into the conference room and out of it on the other side to go down the stairs. Wait for the guard at the bottom of the stairs to leave, then exit the room down some stairs to the left. Pick up the security code on the bench at the other side of the room, then go to the console of the electric gun. Wait for Dr. Valentine to have turned it off, then go on near the dummies, then activate the electric gun. For the Eureka challenge, you're required to put the fire paste into the test beaker with the boldness cure in it. Get the factory guard outfit and load into R&D. Go into the conference room and through the door on the wall ahead. Garret the guard at the bottom of the stairs but leave the body on the ground. Exit the room onto the catwalk and go up one level into the chemical lab. Pick up the fire paste and go up another level and spike the boldness cure with the fire paste. Dr. Valentin will show up eventually and trial the paste. The Doctor in the House challenge requires you to complete the In the Right Space, the Shock Doctrine and Eureka challenges. Go back to the guides for those challenges as required. For the strap him in challenge, you're required to kill Dr. Ashford using the experimental robot. Get the factory guard outfit and load into R&D on the normal difficulty. Make your way to the bottom of R&D through the conference room. Use instinct where necessary and get into the room with the experimental robot in it. Wait for Dr. Ashford to sit in the chair, then activate the experimental robot arm. For the unseen challenge, you're required to kill Dr. Ashford whilst the ventilation is off and hide his body. Get the factory guard outfit and load into R&D on the normal difficulty. Make your way to the bottom of R&D through the conference room. Use instinct where necessary to get to the opposite side of the circular walkway. Wait for Dr. Ashford to come close to you, then turn vents off. Select the fiber wire and go up to Dr. Ashford and garret him. Drop the body off the side of the balcony. For the experimenting challenge, you're required to complete the strap him in and unseen challenges. Go back to those guides as required. For the researcher and hidings challenge, you're required to subdue seven researchers, hide the body and finish the mission unseen. Load into R&D on the normal difficulty. Go into the conference room and pick up the coffee cup on the table. Throw it at the wall to the right and wait for the researcher to show up. Sneak up on him and subdue him. Drag the body to the other's researcher, then drop him and subdue him as well. Hide both the bodies in the cabinet nearby and take up the researcher's disguise. Go back out of the conference room onto the catwalk and go into the test chamber. Inside, go to the wall to the right and sneak behind the counter there. Go up to the robot arm and activate it. Take cover on the side of the test chamber and wait for the researcher to show up. Subdue him and leave the body there for now. Sneak up on the factory guard and garret him. Leave the body on the ground and sneak up to the other researcher and subdue him. Hide that researcher and the factory guard in the cabinet nearby. Go to the other cabinet and pick up the dummy arm there. Only drag the other researcher behind the test chamber, then go to the front of the test chamber and throw the dummy arm at the left wall. Take out a guard that comes to investigate and drag him to where the researcher's body is. Then hide the researcher's body in the cabinet nearby. Wait for Dr. Valentin to enter the test chamber, then garret him as well. Leave the body on the ground. Pick up the dummy arm again and go down to the chemical lab. Inside, throw the dummy arm at the wall and take the guard out that comes to investigate. Drag the body near the cabinet, but don't put the body in the cabinet. Take the factory guard outfit. Throw the dummy wall at the metal part of the wall of the doorway to the upper room. Take cover on the desk until you can sneak up on the researcher and subdue him. Hide the body in the cabinet, then go to the upper room and subdue the researcher there and also hide the body in the cabinet. Go back up to the conference room and down the stairs at the back. Take out the guard at the bottom of the stairs and leave the body on the ground. Go into the room and subdue the researcher there, but only if he is looking at the console. If he is standing near the desk, wait for him to be near the console. Drag the body all the way up to the conference room and into the test chamber. On your way there, it can sometimes happen that the body slides through a gap in the catwalk. In that case, leave the body there and subdue the other researcher in the room with the electric gun in it and drag the body into the test chamber. Hide the body in the cabinet that isn't full in the test chamber. Take up the guard outfit again and make your way down to the lowest level using instinct as required. Go to the other side of the level and wait for Dr. Ashford to get close to you. Close the valve and garret Dr. Ashford and dump the body over the railing. Activate the bridge and go stand at the wall so that you can't be seen by the guard nearby. 
Once the bridge arrives, go over it and complete the mission. For the Reap What You Sow challenge, part 1 and 2, you are required to hide a number of scientists in the pig dump at the back of the test facility. Load into the test facility on a normal difficulty. Take out the guards in the interrogation room and take the factory guard outfit. Go to the lower area and near the pig dump, avoiding guards as required. Activate the checkpoint there and reload from it. Keep going down the stairs and wait until you can see both the guard and scientist ahead. Then enter point shoot mode and take both of them out. Hide the first researcher to complete the first part of Reap What You Sow challenge, then reload from checkpoint and do the same thing. Go up the stairs nearby and wait for a guard to get close to you. Shoot the wall ahead and sneak up on Garrett the guard that comes to investigate. Dump the body over the side. Wait for another guard to get close and repeat the process. Go back down and go into the security room, sabotage the fuse box and climb through the window to the right. Garrett the guard that will smoke just after he starts walking. Leave the body on the ground. Go to the scientist in the room and garret him as well. Dump the body in the pig dump. Go back into the security room and up the stairs to activate the conversation. Wait for Dr. Veen to get into the room, then garret him and dump the body in the pig dump. Then go back upstairs where you just activate the conversation and garret the scientist looking at a cabinet. Drag him downstairs and dump the body into the pig dump. Go back up to the top and go to the scientist looking at a console. Wait for the scientist near the button that activates the mines has changed position. Then garret the scientist near you and drag him down the stairs off the catwalk. Dump the body in the pig dump. The rest of the challenges are unlocked when you complete the high score run for each part of the mission. The evidence collected challenge requires you to pick up the evidence into the test facility, decontamination and R&D. The infiltrator challenge requires you to complete each part of the mission without being spotted. The ground zero challenge requires you to finish the, the factory mission. The Mastery Challenge requires you to complete all the challenges for the Death Factory mission. After you've completed all the challenges and did the high score run for each part of the Death Factory mission, you can expect 517,413 score from the Death Factory mission. That is 146,438 from the test facility, 39,050 from decontamination, and 331,925 from R&D. So, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.